A 117 page response to the University of Louisville. They've already made their distinction on what they feel is what it was. When you look at the whole the whole incident as a whole, it's really hearsay, in my opinion. I mean, there are some things that are true, some things that aren't. Perrin Johnson played basketball at U of L between 2003 and 2007. He says the NCAA's response makes it clear that head coach Rick Pitino could be facing sanctions. Coach Pitino is more than likely going to have some type of suspension, it sounds like, and there's going to be a fine. In the document, the NCAA points the finger at Coach Pitino, saying Pitino cannot completely delegate away responsibility for activities. And if Pitino saw no red flags, it was because he was not looking for them. But Johnson disagrees. People are, are always saying, oh, he has to know, he has to know. I and mean, that's not the case because people as parents don't know what their kids do all the time. It's impossible to keep track of your kids all the time. So it's kind of similar to the same thing with 19 and 20 year olds. You can keep tabs on them, but you don't know every ounce of everything. The university and the NCAA seem to only agree on one fact. Former program assistant Andre McGee was arranging adult entertainment and sex acts for 17 players and prospects. Larry Wilder represents Katina Powell, the author of the book Breaking Cardinal Rules that jump started the investigation. You don't have to embrace her choices, but she was not a liar. In the document, the NCAA says Powell provided credible factual information about the amount of money exchanged for sex acts, but the dollar amounts do not matter. It is still a severe violation. And Wilder says now is the time for U of L to admit fault. The university just needs to embrace it, change it, and stand up and, and invite everybody to be a part of it.